Tonight, Kaiser Chiefs face a crucial clash against Magessi FC in the Beatway Premiership, marking their first-ever league encounter. Magessi FC made headlines recently by knocking Orlando Pirates out of the Carling Knockout Cup, so Chiefs must approach this match with tactical caution and precision. Let's break down what Chiefs can learn from Majesi's recent upset over Pirates and how new head coach Nasruddin Nabi can rally his squad to secure three points. Majesi's win over Orlando Pirates underscored the effectiveness of their counter-attacking style. Without dominating possession, Majesi capitalized on their few chances with long balls and direct play, which destabilized the Pirates' defense and saw them score three goals in the first half alone. Magisi thrives on rapid transitions and catching defenses off guard, often bypassing midfield congestion by launching long balls directly to their forwards. For Kaiser Chiefs, this is a warning that any loss of focus could quickly turn into a concession. Chiefs cannot allow themselves to get caught up field, leaving wide spaces for Magisi's quick counters. Under Nasreddin Nabi, Chiefs have been reshaping their play, which has led to some inconsistency as players adapt to the new philosophy. Nabi's approach emphasizes organized build-up play, disciplined structure, and proactive pressing, but these elements can be vulnerable to Majisi's direct and quick-attacking style if not implemented carefully. Chiefs need to maintain a disciplined defensive structure throughout the game, ensuring they are not drawn out too high up the field. A high defensive line could open Chiefs up to Majisi's long ball tactics. Chiefs defenders should focus on positioning and be prepared for Majisi's attempts to bypass midfield. This means keeping compact lines and minimizing the space Majisi has to exploit. Chiefs could benefit from a four-man defense with the fullbacks instructed to be cautious in their forward movements. Fullbacks should avoid overcommitting to the attack so they can quickly fall back if Majisi attempts a counter. Although Majisi does not heavily rely on midfield play, Chiefs need to control this zone to prevent Majisi from initiating counterattacks. Chiefs should use a high press, with midfielders applying quick pressure to disrupt Majisi's buildup and force them to play risky balls. This can also slow down Majisi's transition from defense to attack, allowing Chiefs to recover possession quickly and control the pace of the game. Yusuf Mart, in central midfield, will play crucial roles, pressing quickly when Majesi wins the ball and tracking any forward runs. Chiefs should look to establish dominance in midfield, which would limit Majesi's options for counterattacks. Chiefs should aim to play a controlled, possession-based game, which will force Majesi to drop deeper and limit their chances to launch counters. By moving the ball patiently, Chiefs can look for openings and exploit Majassi's potential gaps in defense. Stretching Majassi's defense by using the full width of the pitch will be essential. Chiefs should look to use both flanks actively, as this could create more space centrally. Chiefs wingers like Duba and Dupreez could be vital in stretching Majassi's defense. By moving wide and frequently switching flanks, they can pull Majisi's defenders out of position and allow Chiefs forwards to find space in the box. Given Majisi's direct approach, set pieces might play a big role in this game. Chiefs need to be disciplined in their marking and ensure that every player has their assigned target during set plays. Miscommunication here could be costly, especially against a team that has shown a capacity for capitalizing on such moments. Chiefs must balance their intent to win with patience. A rushed approach could leave Chiefs open to Majesi's counterattacks. Chiefs need to remain disciplined and avoid complacency, as Majesi has shown they can change a game's outcome within minutes. Staying focused for the full 90 minutes is crucial, especially with the momentum Majesi gained after beating Pirates. Tonight's game against Majesi FC will test Chiefs' ability to adapt and stay resilient under Nasruddin Nabi's evolving system. By maintaining defensive discipline, controlling possession smartly and patiently waiting for the right moments to strike, Chiefs have a strong chance of neutralizing Majesi's counter-attacking prowess. The approach calls for a delicate balance between aggression and control. Chiefs need to assert their game while remaining cautious of Majisi's swift counters. 
By sticking to these fundamentals, Kaiser Chiefs can lay the groundwork for a disciplined, effective performance that brings home the three points.